That sounds familiar because this happened with my wife and I. Really? Yeah, when we broke up. Like, that one hit home for me, ironically. No like, way. Yeah, like big one time. One of your friends went for it? It's like a flashback almost. Like, <gasps> I can picture. I, here uh, I am a million years later. I can picture the party, too. Isn't that funny? Really? Like, this stuff sticks with you, brother, forever. Oh, hi. Welcome to Oh Honey Podcast. Where you get the sticky and the sweet with Summer. And Amanda. And today we have Ed Milet. <laughs> <laughs> so Ed is a life and business strategist and coach. And yeah, he just like makes people happy, helps them find their way in life. And I need that. His net worth. <laughs> like, I need that. What we need is that net worth, 500 million. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, that oh, we know. Big. <laughs> that yeah. big. That, that is crazy. pretty big. Yeah. So how many cars do you have? Uh, I know. I saw your, cars? your um, what's that car called? The Rolls Royce. Yeah. 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 I was like, wait, what's that car? Yeah. Oh, is that what pulled up? You need yeah. to become more familiar with that. No. Yeah. Uh, I, have, I don't know. I probably have six cars now. Oh, okay. Well, I, my, my jet's my baby. That's yeah. the, that's the cool thing. And I feel like a cheese dick. But no. Yeah, my my jet's the we, baby. We love See, that's nice what jet. I would love. Yeah. <laughs> I want one of those. Yeah. I hate <laughs> flying. Like, like no, I don't like it. It is pretty cool. You know what? Like I hate airports. No so security. Just... Exactly. You don't have to talk to anybody if you don't want to. See, that's the life. Yeah. You can, it shrinks the world, too. Like, where are you going to go to dinner tonight? You're like, you don't have to just think we're going to drive. You're like, let's go to Vegas. Come back. That's have crazy. dinner. It's really cool. So when did you f make your first million? I made my I made my first million in a year, like yeah. in one year. Oh. I made my first million when I was 29. So oh, it, it awesome. took me a while. It took me like nine years. So I started a business when I was like 20. So it took a long there's time. Hope. There's hope. <laughs> well, that's important though. Like I think yeah. there's a lot of young people. I know we're gonna talk about this stuff, but there's like a lot of young people. I was once young mm -hmm. that like they only give themselves two or three or four years. They think, oh, this isn't gonna work out. And like, they give up. They're I like, was yeah. broke, man. Like no water for a while in my house. You know, yeah. like super broke in my early 20s. So. And what was the thing that got you there? Um, I had really good mentors. I finally met some people that helped me, kind of like how you and I have talked over the, you know, yeah. the last year or so. Like, just I yeah. met some people, really <laughs> successful people, like, I'm going to help you. Mm -hmm. And they saw that I worked hard, and then it just turned into something finally in business where it clicked for me. And then I've had pretty good momentum now for like 20 years. It's That's been good. awesome. Yeah. But with uh, more money, more problems, right? <laughs> yeah. So did, That's yeah. true. <laughs> did it change your friendship circles at all or wow. anything? Yes, big time. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, uh, money magnifies you. Yeah. So like, if you're a really good, generous person, you'll probably be more generous and more giving, right? But if you're, uh, you have a tendency to take advantage of people, yeah. or you're maybe a little bit of a curmudgeon, or you're difficult, or, you know, you can even be mean, money can make you more mean. And yeah. that's sort of the image you see of people. Yeah. And I think that just like, it changed because you know what, you got to grow. Like, we're talking about relationships today too. Like, some of my friends just didn't grow, man. Like, we just changed over time. My, my buddies from when I was 17 and 18, some of them are still really good friends of mine, but, like, I, my life went in a direction. Like, I wanted to get better and grow, and they were like, hey, mm -hmm. man, we're just going to party. Yeah. You know, yeah, and that's like, cool when you're younger, but then all of a sudden when you're 30, it's like, hey, like, time to get grown yeah, up and do let's something. Yeah, do some things Yeah, here. and that didn't happen. So some of them are gone, unfortunately. I love yeah. them, but some of them are gone. Do they ever reach out still? Yeah, they yeah. do, and I love them. Like, yeah. oh, people always say to get successful, you have to eliminate certain people from your life. I didn't really do that. I just added more good people. Mm -hmm. I didn't right. really get rid of my friends, you know? Like, and you and I have talked, like my wife and I met in kindergarten. Which is insane. Yeah, and like, it's, like it's, it's and incredible. It's, you don't hear it too much anymore. Yeah. And like, so like I've kept that person from high school in my mm -hmm. life, right? And so I have a bunch of friends still, but yeah, you, your That's life That's a changes. day one though. That's like, <laughs> I know. I know, right? there's I know. something to say about that too. It's a long time. Yeah. yeah. Like That's high school sweethearts time. a long time and then kindergarten, it's yeah. like. But you weren't dating all from kindergarten to now. No, no, no. <laughs> high school. We started, in, we started in high school. But yeah. I'll tell you a funny thing. My, there was only 12 people. I was in first grade. She was in kindergarten. She was in kindergarten with my sister, but. Um, my wife's Mexican, mm. but she's half, but she's Mexican. When I came home from school, I told my dad, I said, Daddy, I'm going to marry this brown girl that's in our Really? <laughs> yeah, the little brown girl. And oh, it my god! ended up happening a million years later. So. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I was like six years old. And was your so family cute. like 
just they were cool. They were cool. We yeah. lived like a couple blocks from each other. Yeah, my so mom, we okay, lived in the cool. same neighborhood. Because you know different generations, like yeah. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> like, my family's super liberal, super yeah, cool. Awesome. They'd have been cool. If, yeah. If I'd have married a man, they'd have been happy for me. Love that. As it happy. should be. Yeah, absolutely, hundred yeah, percent. For sure. But that's so cool. I mean, it's very rare. I like. I barely remember people from my middle school like and I well I moved a lot so even high school like I you know once in a blue moon I'll hear from somebody from high school but and same with college like I know and I I I feel like it's different for girls though maybe I mean a uh, little bit you think so I think it is different for girls because guys do have you guys are like it's just not as complicated for dudes. <laughs> but as I got older, you know, like um, I, I think your friendship ship circles maybe do shrink as you get a little bit older. Like mm-hmm. your social circles, like it's really important to me now. Like I want to spend time with people that I really love, mm-hmm. that I really have a good time with. Not that I'm cool to hang around anymore, you know. Like, but for me, my wife and and other people from my from when I was young, like it keeps me grounded. Yeah. Like I'd probably be have the ego of a lifetime finding people. Look, dude, I know who you really are. <laughs> like oh you're gosh. not fooling me. Yeah. Like we know you're a, you're a dweeb. Like, An we ego know. with the private jet. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's it's cool that yeah. people just go blue. Don't even try. We know. Yeah. <laughs> so I have those people still. Yeah. yeah. Well, how does your? I mean, was your wife always? When did you guys get married? In the process of we got like, married. I was. Uh, in my early 20s, like 25, I think I got married. Oh, okay. I should know that, shouldn't I? 25. 1997, I know that. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. I know that. All this math. So it took, <laughs> so it took, a, long, so it took a while. Like, yeah. And it's important. We're going to talk about relationships. We had our breakup. We had our time away. We dated other people. We had all that normal stuff that happens in life, too, which I'm really grateful happened. Yeah. That we had a little time apart, too. I think that's what makes it work, is the fact that you were able to go and, you know, see what you don't want and then come that's back. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. That's exactly what it was, by the way. I kept finding what I didn't want. I'm like, I had what I wanted. Yeah. You right. know, that's exactly what happened. What about that song, You Only Know You Love Her If You Let Her Go? It's true, that's though. True, yeah. It is true. When you're it's young, it's hard, man. You pick someone at 21 or 20 you're going to have a lot of growing and a lot of changing you're going to do mm-hmm. and the odds of you growing the same way from yeah. 21 to 31 the same way is pretty small right it's a miracle it's a miracle yeah so. <laughs> so. yeah i mean my parents divorced mm-hmm. and they were together since i don't know i think since they were like in their early 20s wow. so but for me it's like it I didn't really realize like the fights and stuff they were having because I was so young. Mm. But when they divorced, I was like, oh, this is better. Really? Yeah, I'm like, this makes sense. Like, now I get two houses. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> cool, I get two houses. So yeah. my parents yeah. got divorced too, and it's so crazy how like, so I have three siblings and we all handled it differently. Like mm-hmm. my two younger siblings got like really messed up over it. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the reason why they have had hard lives and like mm-hmm. made really bad decisions. and. Uh, my other sister, who's like older, and then me, we were fine with it, and it didn't really affect us. So it's like weird how it affects like each kid differently. Did you stay close to both parents, both of you? Um, I did. You did. That was your mom you were just talking to before we started, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my mom's like my best friend, and then me and my dad are super close. So. Yeah, it was hard for me because my dad stayed up north, and then mm. when we moved down to Florida, mm. and when you're a kid, your priority is other kids and like yeah. playing and not calling yeah, see, dad that's different. every second like, yeah that's hard when you're like live so di- far that from them yeah. my dad always lived so close i hated him for a little bit but then i got over it and then loved him again yeah you did. So, there was a, him. so there was a window where you oh there was a window like high school like i hated him like mm. and i like because you know like he f- over my mom and stuff and then, so mm-hmm. i like blame him for everything you know mm-hmm. but then i just got over it and just realized that it's for the best, like they're both happier. And was stuff, it so. like ever difficult with your parents just saying bad things about each other? And is that, it's, or were it's they weird because mature? they've never really said, like my dad has never said bad things. About, like they never like had that fight. Those things were like, they said like bad things about each other. Yeah, like talk, they're good. like friends now. The only reason they're not friends is because my dad's wife doesn't want them to be friends. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like, you know, so. There's that issue too. Yeah. It's yeah. like wondering, like, are you friends with any of your exes? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's no. funny. I'm thinking about it. No, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. And I don't think my wife would like it if I were. So what? Isn't that interesting? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's different because me, I don't like, I wouldn't like that. And then there's some girls who are fine with it. So it's just yeah. like different. Yeah. We're, it's a hard thing. Yeah. We're both probably pretty, 
it's weird because we've been together a really long time, but like I'm, I'm probably easily jealous. Yeah. You know, I'm easily jealous. Like if yeah. she goes out to this day, we've been together a million years. Like if she goes out and has a night, I'm like, so did anybody bother you? Yeah. Anybody hit on you? I mean, like to this day, I'd be I like, I kind of like that though. Yeah. Like, Do you I, really? Yeah, yeah. I would. I would be like, oh no. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. like that you we, care. Yeah. You know, because yeah. like to feel like you're like like good. Yeah. I feel really good because I ask her that co crap constantly. I mean, if it's and, too yeah. much. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's like I still don't want the nag. Like I don't want you. Like you know, it's like there's a fine line. Yeah. You know what's really line. weird? I think there's a part of me that like kind of hopes dudes do. Yeah. It's just a little. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they want my woman. Like, yeah. I think they there's a little woman. me. Like, I, I don't want to be over the top, but I kind of like that maybe she gets a little of that. I do like that too. Like, even with my boyfriend, like, when. When girls, like, he's yeah. hot, it's like, yeah, he's <laughs> like, oh. hot. Like, like, even when you complimented my boyfriend yeah. earlier. Yeah, you're, you're, like, you're like, I complimented him and you said thank yeah. you. Yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> thank you. You like his muscles? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't thank that you. interesting? I think I kind of want them to think she's hot, but not bug her too much. Yeah. I think that makes sense. It's like, <laughs> and you trust her where it's like, too deep, literally. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. then you trust her. Like she's not. <laughs> she's just gonna be like complimented and be like. Well, one thing <laughs> she's done that's helped us. I'll tell you that I think is important. And this is just like maybe a lesson for like how to have a long relationship. One thing she rarely will put herself in situations that make me uncomfortable. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Like that's she, respectful. Yeah. Like she kind of knows stuff that I wouldn't care. Like, she. And yeah. It's just like a respect thing. Like. You know, I don't. I wouldn't want her to be sitting out forever with a bunch of dudes at a bar or something like that. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if she just kind of knows that's something that I wouldn't want her doing, and so it's not like I would ever tell her that. It's just like a respect thing for each other. I don't want her worried. Yeah. Right. You know, and she doesn't want me worried or concerned. And yeah. sometimes that stuff avoids fights. Like if you just no, yeah, yeah. proactively respect what the other person wants, then you don't have to confront it all the time when you're with them. So that's true. 100%. But mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's like Amanda's always with the butts. Yeah. <laughs> but. Yeah, I'm but. with the butts. Um you're with the butts. Puns <laughs> 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 Um just even with like okay. So if a group of, we had guy friends growing up, like mm -hmm. a lot of guy friends, and I've always been super cool with them. Guys were just super easy and mm -hmm. in high school just to hang out with and be friends with. I had girlfriends too, but you know, I had a lot of guy friends. And whenever I would hang out with guys and still to this day, like my best friend is a guy. Yep. And when I'm hanging out with a guy, I'm like, all right, like this is just fun. It's like hanging out, this is my, like my brother. Yeah. And if Johannes were to get jealous of me hanging out with my best friend, I would be so annoyed. Well, you should be. Yeah. I think, to me, tell me if you think there's a difference. I think there's a complete difference between, now you're gonna think I'm like super old school, this is gonna come off wrong, but <laughs> I think there's a huge difference between you hanging out with a guy who's your friend that yeah. you have a relationship with. That wouldn't bug me at all. Yeah. It would bug me if you were hanging out with a bunch of dudes who weren't your friends that were like strangers. Got it, because you know in, what they want. In a social <laughs> environment. Like your friend, we've already established what they want. Like, yeah. that's to like, like that's a zero thing. And yeah, especially if sense. you guys, like, because yeah. Johanna's and Batch are friends too, so it's yeah. not like, yeah. it's well, not like you like have def me. Yeah, but I'm saying you guys all hang out together. It's not yeah. like you're hanging out with Batch and it's like, like sorry, hiding. you can't hang out. Or it's like you're lying, like, I'm not hanging out with him and then he finds out he's hanging Because then, it, you know, honestly, yeah. and like, if you guys are all friends, it's What if it were reversed? What if yeah. what if he were hanging out with a girlfriend that's a friend who wouldn't bug you? Yeah. But what if it was like he was regularly like just in hanging places out with like groups of girls, just randoms, <laughs> man, like just random people yeah, that I would that bug you, or are you are you too you're so confident it wouldn't bug you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I would just be like, what are you doing with your life? Mm -hmm. Like, like yeah. why do you want to hang out with those people? All the yeah. Time? I'm like, why are you hanging out with groups of girls all the time? Like. What's your focus here? Right. And <laughs> What's what, your goal? And what? And how's he feel about you if he's doing that? Right. So that's yeah. just right. what I mean. I don't want her in that. See, my thing is like it. I don't really want my boyfriend having a ton of girlfriends, so I don't. <laughs> oh, I don't hang out no. with a lot of a lot of dudes either because it's she just has like hers on a leash. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he's that's like, really like, true. He's like on a tight little leash. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like looking around for Bennett. He's like, he's like, he's like oh, there he is. Oh, oh he has his headphones. headphones, headphones good. I think that there is. I think that, no, but I think, like, I see both ways work. Like, I see But I think it's different personalities. Like, time. me, I'm a very, con I'm a controlling person. And it's not me that too. I'm, like, it's not even my, in it's not even my insecurities. A lot of people are like, oh, you're like that because you're insecure. It's like, no, I'm just a jealous 
mm. controlling person. That's just my, <laughs> that's my personality. So am I. So. I think yeah, we're alike. No. I think I'm more like you. <laughs> At least you guys know, and that's what your like. It's not like I'm just like denying expect. it. It's like if you want to yeah. be with me, you gotta accept that. I'm not, I'm not forcing but you, you can to be with me. You can improve on it to make. Yeah, I, you always want to work. I'm always working on myself. You know, yeah. it's not like I like to be that way. It's like I would like to be less jealous. I would like to be less controlling, but. I'm working on myself. Well, you think about like, all I do for like my life now is teach people like strategies on life and stuff. And I'm open to admitting like, Mm -hmm. I still am a kind of a control person. Like if you're going to meet somebody who's super financially successful, they're probably used to being in control or super successful in their career or Instagram or whatever. Like there's a control thing that helps you do that. I would say Amanda's pretty controlling too. Where You know you have. Yeah, (laughs) I do too. From what I know of Amanda, I would like totally agree with you on that. Like I think so too. Like, (laughs) But that's like people who are, it's like we're controlling our life. We want to take control of everything. We want to be successful and stuff. Yep. So I think that is. I think that's it. actually a good thing. You got to be bossy right. to be a boss. And, but that's then, right. yeah. yeah. But then it's like my boyfriend is like very just go with the flow. Yeah. Very, yeah. Like he doesn't like we don't clash, so it's good. Like if I had a like dude who was very like um, wanting to be controlling too, we would that's clash. So but true. he's yeah. so like he's like he just like it's not that he's like not alpha or anything as he is, but he just let he just knows me and like this lets me be like yeah. okay summer just do you I'm gonna listen to you I don't and you know you, that's, that's exactly that's, how we are that's yeah. what I so that's I'm a what super I mean. I'm a super crazy human me too dude I'm right? crazy like, I'm, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> crazy I'm obsessive <laughs> no, like that's me. me too like like and that's by the way good like yeah, in yeah. one in most areas of my life like that's a win like I'm obsessed with winning I'm obsessed with dude, hitting my me goals too. I'm, obsessed. I'm obsessed with everything I do I always do. So my mom and dad yeah. told me my whole life, like, Summer, never smoke a cigarette, never do drugs, because yes. you'll get obsessed. It's so weird, because I've, like, tried to, like, smoke cigarettes yeah. or smoke the jewel. I hate it. I do. So you, I don't like the feeling Wait to listen, Summer. I know. I don't yeah. like the feeling yeah. of, like, that. You know that feeling when you smoke, and it's, like, a dizzy feeling? I yes. hate that feeling. But, like, when I work out, I can't just be a little bit in shape. I have to be the most in shape. I have yeah. to, every yeah. single thing I do in my head, if I'm not the best, I can't do it. It's yeah. so me weird. Too. No, no, it's beautiful. It's not bad. Like, I don't. I like I, I teach people like my thing on Instagram or the stuff I teach is max out. Like that's yeah. my whole I don't do things a little bit. Like right. I max out my workout. And I max out stands. my business. See, I max exactly. out laughing. I max out friendships, whatever. I, I, I can't be just a little crazy. I gotta be the crazy. Totally <laughs> freaking crazy. She's at my <laughs> house all the time. She's <laughs> like she won't leave. I think that's why you guys are kinda like this good blend of energy too. But yeah. you're also super driven and yeah. super focused. Like but we're like a different type of it. She's more like mellow about it. Energy. I'm more like out there crazy yeah. about it. Yeah. No, no, you're totally right. Like I think the energy is different, which is makes this like even what makes your show so good too. But like my wife's that way. Like she's super chill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See me. I super love. Chill. I love my friends have to be chill and my boyfriends have to be chill <laughs> because I'm too crazy. Like I don't. Oh, if there were two much. of you. Oh. I know. No one would be able to hang around. <laughs> oh, Such no. a great lesson. I used to think this. Like when you're with someone a long time, I'll tell you the truth. Like really being honest. Because she is so different than me. Like, what are you worried about? Let's just walk on the beach. Yeah. Why do we need to make more? Isn't this enough? You know, like, it's always like, mm. she's, she's, I always say that she's easily happy. I'm difficult happy. Like, things have to really be good for me she to be happy. She balances you. Yeah. And I used to think, I, man, I want her to be cool to be with someone more like me. Like, when you're with someone, when you meet someone young, yeah. or even when you're in a relationship, there's this part of your mind that's like, I wonder what it would be like to be someone different than them. Mm. And I used to think, man, what if I was with this like super driven, like just, we would kill each other. Yeah, oh my would, God, you would murder would explode. To I, death. Yeah, I have yeah. enough intensity and crazy for both of us. Yeah. Like I don't need that from her. Right. So that's what makes us, I think, has made us work is that. But I wonder though, cause then there's like power couples mm-hmm. too, right? And yeah. then um, that are both like doing their own thing. Yeah. Like, But they're probably fully, different. Like, See like me and you, it's like, yeah. We're both driven, yeah. but it's not the same yeah, type it's just, of driven. I guess it's you know? still driven, but energy-wise, it's a little different. The, I think well, you we, need someone to balance yeah. out your energy. It's you know? really true. Like, yeah. there's tons of power couples. You know, yeah. J-Lo and A-Rod are friends yeah. of ours, and they're definitely maybe the power couple yeah, right now, right? I mean, sure. they're one of them, but their energy is very different. Mm-hmm. You know, they're very different energies, the two of them. I'm not going to talk about them the whole time, but like, <laughs> but they really have different ways they're in control and that they're intense. And, yeah. and they like, bring it together and there's like yeah. a power force. The, but I, would, I wouldn't say that you and your wife aren't a power couple. Right. Yeah. She probably helps you be successful behind the scenes that maybe you guys aren't like known to, what together. Is, what does your wife do? But 
Well, n now, in yeah. the beginning, she was in the business with me, and yeah. now she raises our kids and runs my foundation. She runs our, our See, that, that is a power That's couple, just because you guys aren't like... It's the Ed My Life Family Foundation. Oh, okay. so what do you guys do? Sorry. I'm mainly <laughs> stuff for yeah. kids. Mainly, mainly my stuff is for sick kids, because when I started out in business, my first job was I worked at a group home. Okay. I worked with orphan kids. My boys were all molested by their family or yeah. their parents were gone. So if I, if I ever make any money, I'm going to do stuff with kids. So 99% yeah. of my charity stuff is, is kid stuff, and she oh. helps drive that. I love that. But, like, major role for me, like, it's hard to raise really good kids now with how crazy the world is. And so I like crazy. that their mom is so present in their life. And mm -hmm. it's, what, it's what she wanted to be. So when we were growing up, I knew the number one thing she wanted to do was that. And yeah, she mom. knew I wanted to be, I was a baseball player, but I wanted to be successful and wealthy and you know and influential and all that and that's not her goal like mm -hmm. she doesn't care about what purse she has what her car is like nothing material completely different than me I she would be people like that. Yeah, yeah she would be she would be thrilled happy if we lived like in a cabin in the mountains yeah. she would be just as happy so she we're opposite amazing. that way yeah she, she is does. she's cool and we're just different that way you know and it grounds me but what she mainly does what you said is like she sees things i don't see right because i'm so driven in psycho she'd be like babe you know so and so needs to hear this from you, or I think you are too harsh on them. Or, yeah, you guys. That's what yeah. I was saying. You guys are a power couple. You know, mm -hmm. like Beyonce, Jay Z. Like mm -hmm. they're both famous, so it's like mm -hmm. you see both of them. Yeah. But just because your wife doesn't want to be also a like public figure with Correct. you, yeah. but she is like behind the scenes. Like and, you need her. And she's <laughs> super not wanting to be one. Like yeah, she's like never. Like, she want probably me to... hates this episode right yeah, now. Yeah, no. <laughs> she's like, don't no, talk about me. But then she like she doesn't really want to be on Instagram too much. Yeah. Like she's been had a chance to do one of the more well-known reality housewife shows a couple times and like no way she's just yeah. like no way it's not her vibe so it's just cool that there, i think every relationship like my little thing is like you should just magnify each other yeah. not everyone goes oh you complete me that's not really how it works like right. you magnify each other so like she magnif her kind of sweetness kind of magnifies my intensity like it's a right. good thing right not only does it balance it but it like magnifies it like i'm more intense because she's so nurturing to people right. you know what i mean so we magnify each other i watch you with him and like mm -hmm. you really do have a there's an energy between the two of you that really really works you yeah know? Like you can feel it mm -hmm. yeah. thanks yeah, yeah. no yeah. I, I i think what really works for us is that he does let me do my own thing like he knows when i'm like in my zone and like he knows just to like kind of like keep his distance too but like help with little things that i like see him doing just helping me with little things too and i'm just like oh it like calms me down and then i'm just like all right i can like now like coast through the day a little bit better and he's just very considerate and just he works hard too on his own thing the fact that he's passionate about what he does too and i think for anybody i think that's so important in a relationship to have somebody that's passionate about what they're doing mm. whether it be raising kids whether it be fitness whether it be it's like as long as they're happy and you know because if somebody's just sitting around not doing anything not helping in any way and just like mm. living off the benefits that other yeah. people are bringing to the relationship it just I feel like that gets a little toxic and then mm. after a while it's like all right like <laughs> I didn't ask you this when I interviewed you have you always been this way I'm just curious when you, uh, like like this like well like, I think way? you're kind of like an old wise soul as this young <laughs> beautiful woman like oh, I just see that you. have you always been that way like um, if I met you at 17 yes. <laughs> were, were you no I don't know I, 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 you see that a little bit thank you yeah. sure. thanks guys <laughs> no I do That's it's so this nice. why your match is so good like I, yeah. I don't know that I completely believe this but like you have a very like young beautiful energy about you like mm -hmm. and it's like a young lively soul, lively yeah, yeah. soul and you have this kind of like old wise soul beauty like about you owl. too no, i don't know maybe, <laughs> yeah. I, maybe that's too deep but no, i think that's I one of the reasons that. why the two of you like are such a good combo hey yeah, yeah. We're, we're, that's why everyone yeah, comes on like it. <laughs> it's like we're just so different so it's like when you have two people that are too similar then it's just like okay you're watching the same person it's like we're so different we're like night and day from each other mm -hmm. so it's like a good combo i think you just described the right relationship too yeah, yeah. if they're identical why do you need both of you yeah, yeah. why that's be true. together yeah, we only need one. It gets, yeah. it gets boring, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and yeah. we both have very different views on yes, life and yeah. opinions on things. So it's like really? the controversy. People are going to be like, like even hmm. like politics stuff, you mean? Or Yeah, it's. Yeah. I mean, I don't really talk politics. Yeah. I don't really want to go there. Yeah. But just. <laughs> <laughs> that's just so something I don't really want to do. Push that away. Um, but more about 
I would say it's just about lifestyle choices mm. or like, I don't know. Um, yeah, we're not really that different, but it's just more like. more about diet. More diet. Oh, really? okay. It's like one thing and then okay. I'm like, yeah. we're so different. No, okay. otherwise just like, I'm like just like, and yeah, we're, we don't really like go out like crazy. Yeah, we, but but we the do. thing is we do have a lot of similarity, like similarities and then we have differences too, but like our differences aren't even like crazy different. We just yeah. need that for the podcast, I guess. So let's act like <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all fake. No. It's all fake. No, um, no, but we are like, I don't like to go out. I don't like to really? do anything. Yeah, I hate it. Does it work for you to like have social media stuff then? Like if you're not out a lot, is that harder for you? Um, yeah. Social media stuff meaning? You like posting like where you're at and what oh, you're doing? Oh, no, we yeah. like to go outside. Okay. We're no, not no like, I don't like to go, like, when I say go out, out, I'm saying club. Like, club. I don't oh, that's like, what I meant. I don't, oh. That's what I meant. Like, I don't yeah. really like to, even if yeah. I went to the club all the time, I wouldn't post at it. Because yeah. it's like. Those are actually some of the most annoying posts I think I see online. It's just a mm, 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 yeah. like, I'm like the, yeah. okay. in the background, you're like, okay. Yeah, I just like it. to be home you're with out. my dogs and stuff and just That's cool. Yeah. cool. So how many kids do you have? Two. Two? two? Yeah. And how old? My son is 17. And that's the one that getting married? He's not getting married. <laughs> but I love her. I just yeah. Like her. But yeah, yeah. My mm -hmm. son's 17 and my daughter is 15. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not, we're almost gone. Yeah. What was that? Like Are you sad, afraid? Yeah. Oh. I'm sad. And yeah. they're <laughs> doing college or? My, it's a great debate in our house yeah. right now. Like, my wife's like totally, you don't need to go to college. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. Yeah, and that's like, my thoughts. Is it? <laughs> yeah. That's what she believes. Like, just take that. Is your wife, like, I feel like a really similar. Yeah, <laughs> <you're> really <laughs> yeah, she'd rather him just like go and start his life, you know, and not, yeah. you know, whether we gave him the money for college or debt. She just thinks college is sort of like almost a, lot a scam of kids, now. A lot of kids go out into their real life in debt. And then yeah. you have, it's already hard yeah. enough how much, how expensive everything is and yeah. everything. And then you're just out in the world, not with it. Just, it's, not, it's not like it gives you, it's just not like it's a promised job and stuff. Right. So then you go out in life and you're like 100K in debt, 50. I, my yeah. uncle, like I know so many people that are in debt to this day and they're like in their 50s. That's what she thinks. And, or like even if we paid for it, she's like, if we're gonna give a hundred grand for college, what if they started a business with that hundred grand or yeah. whatever? So she's that, like, that's she's, a nice she's, point. She's that super hardcore point, about because it. Because I wonder. What, I'm not. I'm the other way. It depends <laughs> what they're going to college for, though. I, I totally think. believe that too. So if it's like, you know, I, I would love my doctors to go to school. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. You. I think it depends. Yeah. yeah there's always two like things mm -hmm. to each thing. Mm -hmm. It's like if they know exactly what they want to do and this is what I want. A lot of kids go aimlessly into school just being like, oh, this is what people do. I got to go to college. Yeah. And they change their <clears throat> majors every five seconds just being like, I don't know what I want, you know? Yeah. Then it's like, okay, maybe not go. But if you know what you want and that's your goal and that's the your passion, yeah. then you can go to I college. I agree with you guys. Like if you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer, like you should probably go to college. Yeah, right? for like, sure. I agree with that. Like I do think though, well, it's a huge thing. Like Rob Deerdick was on my show and he's become I a really good Rob. buddy of mine. Robbie's such a good dude. Yeah. And there's like, he didn't go to college and he's become successful. I went to college. I can't even tell you where my degree is located. Like I have never even seen it since I left the school. Same. Yeah, like, like I, isn't that interesting? Like yeah. if I went to an interview, they like prove it. I'm like, I don't, I don't even know how I would prove I graduated. Like, yeah, well like for me, I left with a semester left before graduating okay. because I did my centerfold and I was oh, like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm done. Uh, I'm done here. Yeah. Um, but I did learn a lot through, I don't know, it was just fun. That's what it is. Yeah, college right? was like, just Let's fun. just be honest. Yeah. Like, Your son's probably like, oh, I got that whole yeah. life experience that you see in the movies, and yeah. I was like, check that off. But it's like, why does it have to be so expensive? Just for the parties. <laughs> no, we need to figure that out. Like, why yeah. is it so damn expensive? And then I also think, like, in my son's case, he's a really good student. He's like a 4-4 GPA. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of like... This is something you're good at, like taking tests so, and passing yeah. them. Maybe you should go get a degree. Yeah. And so I don't know. Like, what I, does he want to do? Does he not? He know? wants to play professional golf. Oh. That's what he really wants. I don't think he needs a college yeah. degree for that. You don't need a degree for that. <laughs> you can buy but some I, nice. But I think also because his dad's an entrepreneur. Like, if that didn't work, he wants to own and run his own business. Right. So that's why I was like, well, what's he need a degree but for that for? I yeah. I always think though, instead of just going to college, getting that degree, like just go for the specific classes that you need mm -hmm. to whatever school that is. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I didn't learn anything about accounting in, in college, yep. in high school. Yep. And I had to self-teach myself all that stuff. So it's like... Good advice. 
but that's the number one thing that I think they should be teaching. And even yeah. in high school, yep. I didn't even know what a tax return was. I just knew I got money back from the jobs that I had for some yes, reason. Me I too. was like, I was like, ooh, a check. Me too. That's nice. I don't you feel like like you can feel it though, like ten years from now, it's gonna be way different than it is now in yeah. college. Like you can tell fewer people are gonna go yeah. or it's not gonna become it's not gonna be this massive debt thing anymore. Like you can feel like this sentiment about college is changing in the country. Mm -hmm. Slowly but surely, more and more people are like, eh, I'm not, I don't think I need that. So I don't know what it's going to look like, but definitely it's more and more that way. Yeah. It's, YouTube is the new college. Yeah. You can learn everything on YouTube. <laughs> well, you, know, you make a can. really good YouTube point. college. Like, yeah. like, if it's not specialized, like, there's so much information. Now. Do, you, do you have to really go to a school for four years to learn stuff you can just Google? Google, Google. If you yeah. have a question, yeah. you Google it. Yeah, like. for real. <laughs> Sources, sometimes not the best, but yeah, yeah, that's right? True. Yeah. And there has to be, it, what would be great, Google, I'm sure, could do this, is like have a sub page with just like the highly credible sources for education, like an education Google. Mm -hmm. Like it that just, would be good actually, because there's so much misinformation. You're right too. Yeah, it's just I like a lot of topic. gossip and. So yeah. you say go to college if you were like if you had a kid right now, you would have them go. Um, I it would depend on how they were. I would mm -hmm. like base it off my kid, mm -hmm. kind of. I would look at you and be like, you're an entrepreneur. You you can like. You can build anything on your own. Mm -hmm. You just, you already like book smart, street smart, mm -hmm. naturally go do it. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need college. Don't waste your time doing that. Start building your business. But like if I saw my kid and then I was like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> you need a little like, you need a little help here, mm -hmm. you know, like maybe go to college, yeah. like get that. And then, but for even in raising my kid, I would want them to have that real world experience too mm. of, all right, do your laundry, do the dishes, yep. get a job, buy your car, mm -hmm. do this. And that way my kid's going to hate me in the beginning, but yep. I feel like down the line, they're going to be pretty ready for the real world mm. when it comes to them. But I don't know, it just all depends. Like I don't have a kid, so it's hard for me to say because I feel like all that changes once you do. It does, and I have them, and I don't know what the right answer is. It's <laughs> so, really because I get so great. Probably, no, probably so every great. show I'm on lately, like I get asked that question about college, and I like I wish I knew what I really believed because it's new. Yeah. But my intuition is like, like if you have something specialized, you should probably go. But like it's a long time. It's four or five years of a lot of debt. Yeah. For like what? Like, yeah. what do you really get, to your point, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. so I don't I know guess it's like, do. the only thing I would say is, is the interaction between, like, the whole, like, your peers. Your socialization. Yeah. But can you get that anyway? You know, that's you what can. I ask myself. Yeah. Yeah. But you can almost get it better because... I learned the most out of college. I learned the most when I was traveling. I learned the most through my friendships that I made with friends that were entrepreneurs and older and like, yeah. So I think that's the best form of ed is the experience. Cause that's what I remember. Mm -hmm. I don't remember cramming for the exams mm -hmm. and I would do that all the time. I'd cram, I'd ace the exam, I'd be like, great. And yeah. then, and then for me, I would forget everything the next day. Yeah, like I, did. I could hold the information just long enough to pass the test. I would not retain any of it. <laughs> me too. The only thing I was good at that I like retained and I loved was math. But like, me other too. Than that, Actually, me too on math. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And the rest of it was like a waste of time for me. Yeah. So maybe that's the answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does your son want to go? I think he's like. I think he's gonna go. I think he wants to go because he can play golf there. Good. I think if he took golf away, he probably wouldn't want to go. Yeah. But I think that he does, yeah. And he's a super good student. So is my daughter. Like, they're good at that. For sports. I wasn't. Uh -huh. Is it required to have, be in college for, like, If you're a freak, you could probably get away with trying to turn pro right away. But 99.9% yeah. .9 go play at least a year or two in college. Yeah. I think that's sometimes good, though. Because those, and it should be mandatory courses on. You're right, accounting, business. Yeah. Yeah. Money. Yeah, because that comes right away, especially yep. if you're going pro. Yep. And then yep. it goes right away, too. Yeah, so. it right away. Most of the yeah. athletes that I work with had no prep for that. And yeah. They got, like, one of their boys from home that handles all their money, and that's why when they're done playing, they don't have any. Exactly. Because <laughs> their boys that spend so it all. Many, that happens in basketball, everything. That happens in every sport. Yeah. I work with these guys afterwards. They're, like, become my friends or my clients, and, like, it's sad to see how many of them just have nothing when they're done because mm -hmm. they didn't have any of that help that you're talking about so you're right yeah. maybe that's why you should go yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean same with golf so same with golf but yeah, yeah. and <laughs> i don't know if he's gonna play next... pro golf or not he could be 
Yeah, he's the next. Um, tiger? Yeah, he could be God, Tiger. That would be good. Then I could just quit altogether. It's great. Yeah. Me too. I just hang out <laughs> here every morning. <laughs> yeah. I'll quit off you. <laughs> well, she'll quit. quit too. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. We'll, go quit but off we'll be side. passionate about something <laughs> yeah, at the same about time. Hanging out. All right. We'll I think, hang harder than anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should dive into the honey pot now. We have a couple of diary entries from you guys. And if you want to send in a diary entry, you can at diary at ohoneydiary.com. So feel free to send them in. All right, so the first question is, hey, Amanda and Summer and Ed. Mm -hmm. What's up? My name is Justin. I need your help. My best friend is definitely the cool guy at school. He gets all of the girls, and while I'm a great wingman, I also want to get the girls. Every time I like a girl, he swoops in and gets her before me. I guess he is better looking and more popular than me. It's starting to get on my nerves, though now, because I never get the girl. I have always crushed on this one girl, Sarah. Honestly, for maybe three years, I've liked her, and we've always kind of flirted, but we are both really shy. My best friend knows that I like her, too. But recently, she's become kind of cooler because, I don't know, I guess she has been getting prettier with age, and now other guys are starting to notice her, even though I have liked her for the last three years. At a party recently, he kept trying to get her drinks and talking to her, and then he kissed her. I watched the whole thing, and I could tell that she was uncomfortable because she kept on looking at me throughout the night. He really is my best friend, but now I'm starting to wonder if he's taking girls from me just to flex on me, that he is better at getting girls. But now with Sarah, but now with Sarah, it's gone too far. What do you think I can do? You looking at me first. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sounds familiar because this happened with my wife and I. Really? Yeah, when we broke up. Like, that one hit home for me, ironically. No like, way. Yeah, like big one time. One of your friends went for it? It's like a flashback almost. Like, <gasps> I can picture, I, here uh, I am a million years later, I can picture the party too. Isn't that funny? Really? Like, this stuff sticks with you, brother, forever. You'll oh be my God. 48 years old with millions of dollars and jets, and you will remember this stuff. Wow. I'm telling you, man. Like, I can remember Oh, that. he's like, shit. Yeah, it actually, it's, it's that crazy. Like, right yeah. now, I can picture, I know whose house we were at, I can see them in the kitchen. Is that crazy? So, that is crazy. So it does stay it's with that you. impactful, wow. Yeah, That's this insane. stuff is real, man. Um, one, this dude, uh, if he really is your best friend, wouldn't be doing that. So there's a bro code and there's a, a sister code too. Like there should be some kind of code there that if this is the girl you're really interested in. And he in, has to know, right? And so I'm assuming that the guy knows. And so if he does, you don't need to check anything with yourself. You need to check something with him. Mm -hmm. The fact is this dude may not really be your best friend if he really knows this and if he does it. And if it were me, like if you're really good friends, you go, brother, hey man, of all, there's a million girls, right? Like this is the one for me, dude. You mm. need to give me some space. I also think it's a good sign that she looked at him. Yeah, she's like, She hey. gave him the look, right? So that means she's there's, like, probably, save me. <laughs> there's probably something there that yeah. you've got, brother. And then I'll just tell you, man, like life changes when you get out of that little environment if you're in high school. I'll just tell you, the minute you leave there, you guys know this too, all of that like structure changes and he may not be the cool dude forever. He may not always be the best looking dude. Like instantly people in high school who are like the super cool person there, the minute you walk that day, now you're in the real world, I cannot even tell you how many of them were no longer cool anymore. Yeah, like instantly 100%. when that was over, they weren't cool anymore. And they just spent the next, trust me, 25, 30 years of their life not being the cool guy. They just had this little window of yeah. two or three years <laughs> when they so were. It's so true, so minimal. Isn't it true? It was like yeah. this little shrink But in the window. time you think it's like your whole world. So yeah. like when you're not the cool one, you're like my whole life, I'm never going to be cool. I'm yes. never going to be pretty. It's almost when you're older, it's cool not to be the cool person in high school. <laughs> yeah, right? It's like, it's oh, like I, cool? I'm like, and I was never cool in high school. You know, you want to yeah. not be the cool person. You want to so like, like shout it out. Your friend. Yeah. A hundred percent. Like the people I feel the worst for in life, and this isn't necessarily always true, is the person who was the coolest one in high school. Yeah. Because like the minute you leave, they're like, wait a minute, you don't think I'm that cool anymore? And they spend the rest of their life often like living off those three years. No, and they always talk about uh, it. Like, oh, remember? My theory so on it yeah. is that, so when you're not cool in high school and stuff, you leave high school thinking like, I'm going to do something with my life. I'm going to prove them wrong. Yes. I am going to be cool. I am going to be the shit, you know? Yes. But the people who are cool in high school, 
they don't know what it's like not to be cool and they don't know what it's like not to so their whole world is like no i'm gonna be cool forever i'm the shit i'm this i'm that and they don't even realize that that wasn't real gotcha. like so then they go on life just not trying anymore because they already had it so then they just lose themselves like a lot of girls i know that were the cool ones are like kind of chunky now yes. and stuff, you no, know? Yes. And you know, like, in, in stereotypes is yes. like, yeah, you're like, which is fine. But like stereotypes totally of fine. that is like in like movies and it's like actually real. It's it, true. It is totally real. Like, so flash forward, man, I'm gonna give you some help, brother. So I'm the, I'm the after version for you. <laughs> so I've been to reunions. I bet there's how old I am. I've been to a 10 year and a 20 year reunion. Right. And let me tell you, the script is completely flipped after 10 years. And I, I know you don't want to hear about 10 years. I'm just telling you this ain't permanent. But in this situation, the girl looked at you. So that's good, man. She wouldn't be looking at you if you weren't on her mind. Number right. one. And you need to address this dude. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, brother, there's like 40 girls at these parties. There's a million girls at school. Like, I want this one girl. Okay. Yeah. If we're friends, you don't go there. It's really weird. I have this th strange thing. Like, the reason I'm a good friend, I can honestly tell you I've never been interested in any of my buddy's girlfriends. Yeah. Or like even their sisters or anything like there's a weird switch that a good dude has. And ladies, you should know this, too. Like, I really am not like I've never been interested in one of my buddy's wives or anything like that. Like they're literally like sister. Like it moves into that sister mode for me. Mm -hmm. I've never had it. I'm super sketchy on dudes who are that way. Yeah. yeah. Dudes who are That's like. That's how I am with girls too. Like I, if yeah. my friend has ever even liked it, in my head, it's like, no, I don't even see them. Like, yes. I don't care. I, no. Like, yeah. and my thing is too, like, why would I ever want anything to do with them yeah. after that? After like, that, you. Exactly. Like, yeah. I don't want to know that you've like kissed my <laughs> friend, yeah. with my friend, like, ew. Creeperville, like, man. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But it's so That's different because one of my sisters, this is so opposite every single, so I drop, every episode I say this, but like I dropped out of high school freshman year. Mm. So um, I was only in high school for a tiny, tiny bit. Really? But um, huh. my sister, so she was in eighth grade when I was a freshman. Okay. And then so when I left, she went to high school mm. and every single guy I dated or liked, she dated and oh. she lost her virginity to my first like boyfriend oh. in high school. What? Yeah. Whoa. I'm not kidding. It was, it was so, uh, in the time, it was like, uh, I was yeah, so I weirded out by it. Yeah. And I'm I was just like, right yeah, the guy too, she lost her virginity, <laughs> the guy she lost her virginity to and stuff, like, I, like, liked him and stuff, but I never did anything with him. Like, mm. I'm very, like, innocent in that sense. Really? So, like, I wouldn't even do anything with him. But then she did. And, like, I was a freshman and he was a, so a junior at the time. So when she was in school, he was a senior when she was a freshman. He always, like, dived in for the younger girls and stuff. Ooh. So it's just, like, it's so weird how some people just don't have that code. Like, yeah. Yeah. me, I'd be like, oh, my God, you dating my sister. Stay the f, f away from yes. me. Disgusting. Forever. I don't care if my sister ever touched you or not. Like, yes. that That's was, like, weird. hers and never yeah. mind, you know? That's just so too weird. Isn't it's it weird? super weird. Yeah. yeah it's, it's also, so like, weird. it's like as you get a little bit older, it's a character flaw. Yeah. Like, if someone will, not, uh, vi someone will violate that code, what so else will they violate? Weird. Like, you with your money, right. you with, like, a friend, like... That's just sketchy, man. Well, there's so it's many so people weird. in this world. So, I mean, that, there's like a like, million guys on. at school. Right. I'm like, that one. Like, well, there's only like those two worlds or three. are smaller, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But even at school, the there's a lot either. of people. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. a lot of guys. Like, yeah. yeah. This dude's not your best friend if he's doing that. I, I just wonder, though, and not speaking from my experience, but just for those out there that have done that before, mm. what if they were madly in love mm -hmm. with? their best friend's person and they were in love with them before their friends started dating them. That's real. And I have, yeah. it's funny, was we were talking, I have a friend who, um, they were married too. Yeah. So one of my, I'm not going to say who, but in fact, I'm going to be with them this weekend. Uh. So our best, probably our check best friends Instagram. right now. <laughs> right now check it. No, but our, like our, our best friends were both married to other people. Mm -hmm. And they were, the couples were really close friends. So sort of similar situation. And um, they really were falling in love with each other. But they actually did wait till both those other relationships ended. Mm. Those were over and they're together. And now they've been married for a really long time and have had a family. And they're like, they're probably the happiest couple that we know. So they were legitimately yeah. like in love. First off, that's one in a thousand, yeah. maybe <laughs> one in a million. But then still you Rare. need to respect the fact that you don't go there until those relationships are over. Mm -hmm. But I have that switch like, and my buddies even told me, he goes like, she was like my sister, dude. Like it would creep me out even though she's yeah. beautiful. But as time passed and they were no longer with that person, 
the attraction came, and so they right. got together. So, yeah. but that is really rare. But you're right; yeah. that happens. Yeah, there's yeah. a your sister for me. Love. There's an exception <laughs> yeah. to every rule. Sure. And I don't hold any grudges for my sister doing that. I don't. I don't really care. In the time, yeah. I was like, "What the hell? That's kind of weird." But I'm like very for like I'm just kind of like let shit go sometimes. Yeah. Like, I'm like oh. overly forgiving with my family and my siblings. Like my sisters can really do anything to me and sure. I'm going to forgive them and I'm going to like, yeah. anyone in my family can really do anything and I'm going to forgive them. Yep. If that was my friend, probably not going to talk yep. to them ever again. I think that's <laughs> yep. A good thing though is that forgiveness, especially towards family, I think is great. But I also think if it becomes super toxic and like mm -hmm. it's just ongoing and endless, I don't think yours is anywhere near that. Yeah, 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 you're just talking but about for other people. Yeah. Like, yeah, me and my my family. Then you can not. disown. <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I have people in my family that, um, like, I avoid at all costs now. Like, yeah. I really not my sisters or my parents, but other parts of my family. Yeah. Just because we like have some similar DNA doesn't mean you get to be a dick to me your entire life. Like, no, that's, right. that's not some out. It's not card. an excuse. Yeah. yeah. And so they're gone. Like, I, and the, like I said, the older you get, you're like, I don't need these people in my damn life. Yeah, like, so stressful. Yeah. Like, what, <laughs> why am I doing this? Because we have similar bloodlines. This is stupid. Yeah. My, you're gone. My dad's yeah. adopted, and he, he, like, his side of the family isn't my side of the family because, mm -hmm. like, and I've never really liked them. Mm -hmm. So um, I just disown them. I never talk to them. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, bye. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like, I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've done it too. But I'm just saying, like, so I am the type of, they really did something. Yeah. But I, my family and me are, like, my, like, sisters and mm -hmm. stuff and brother are so close that we would never, ever do anything that detrimental that I should ever disown them. Like, yeah. you know, so it's like mm -hmm. little things, like that's like little high school drama yeah. team me and my sister. What if there was an extreme example? Let me throw one at you. Let me throw one Oof. at you. Because I'm super close with my sisters. I'm the oldest boy. I have three younger sisters. We're super close. Mm -hmm. But what if, like, long term, one of them, I'm going to give you an extreme one, they had, like, a real serious drug issue. Mm -hmm. you, so, so people watching this have someone like that. They got a oh, sibling yeah. or something, right? Like, but I mean, like, years where, like, they couldn't get clean. They took money from you. They... You know, they lied to you over and over and over again. Do you think you could, if in that type situation? It's so funny maybe that you bring this up. Like, yeah. I hope my brother never watches this. Yeah. I don't think he will. But um, my brother, my brother and sister, like, you know how I kind of said, like, mm -hmm. the divorce kind of changed them yes. a little bit. They're kind of like druggies. They're, okay. they're kind of, they don't do much. Um, my brother, actually, I give him money. I give him so much stuff all the time. I'll pay mm -hmm. you back. I'll pay you back. Like, mm -hmm. he doesn't have, a, doesn't have his license and that stuff because he's got, like, caught like drug dealing and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff um so i'll give him a thousand bucks he's like summer i'll pay you back i never get the money he but i gave him a thousand dollars one time because he has a lot of court fees and if he wouldn't pay the court fees he'd have to go to jail so the kids have been in jail a hundred times so i'd be like i don't want him to go to jail you know so i'm, I'm mm -hmm. gonna give him the money i want i don't it's not the it's not about the money it's about the principle like i want you to pay me back because it proves to me that you're bettering yourself mm -hmm. is i don't even pay it back yeah. and then I'll give it back. You know, yeah. Yeah. I just want to yeah. see you doing that. You know, yeah. it's not about the money. So you're giving um, him like, you're like microfinance. Yeah. Like, so I yeah. gave him, I gave him the thousand dollars. He comes to me. I'm like, he has like a ton of weed. I'm like, how'd you, how'd you get that? He's like, Oh, I'm going to double the money. I'm going to give you back to the three grand instead of the one grand that I gave you. Like just, I'm like, I'm like, Oh God. I'm like, mm. he's like, please summer. Just trust me. Whatever. He, he smokes all the weed, he gets all the weed away, he has no money, he does it all oh, the weed. No. And it's just like things like that. But yeah. for me, it's very innocent, so that doesn't count. Like yeah. maybe when he's 40 years old and he's still doing that, yes. he's only, he just turned 21, like he's oh, still he's young. Got time. So you know he's a good way young. around that too, though, is being like, all right, send me the bill, I'll pay it for you. you yeah, go. yeah. So, yeah. Like, so of he like he like needs $1,000 to get his license back. He like texts me, like, hey, hey, bud, can you lend me $1,000? <laughs> hey, I didn't bud. even, I didn't, don't even <laughs> reply. <laughs> Anytime he hits me up, it's for Uber or for something. Uh, yeah. He lives in Colorado and I have to get him an I Uber. I think I you when he hit you up for an Uber. Oh, I would get him an Uber yeah. probably like three times a week. It's yeah. interesting though. So you're saying you really don't party though. So that's your brother but you don't party much at all. You're not no, a big no, smoker no. or anything like and that. And the thing is to his defense he's they have they have done drugs like mm. heavy drugs but they're not like druggies. My brother just yeah. loves weed. But I yeah. we grew yeah. up in Colorado and it got legal when he was 13. Sure. So we grew up with weed. Like when I'm in Colorado I smoke every second with him yeah. just because it's like yeah. it's like yeah. So he is, he's not a bad kid. Sure. Like, that's I don't think weed's he bad. He is an Neither. amazing, my bad siblings are an amazing, yeah. amazing kids, yeah. but they got affected differently from divorce. Yeah. Don't you, you think know? weed's different? I mean, I don't. Oh, weed's 100% well, different. I'm going to get a whole bunch of hate on this. I don't smoke weed at all. No, ever. neither do I. But, but I think the reason I, 
maybe the reason I was, I might really like it like too much. Like I might not leave the damn house. Like no matter how crazy I am. Yeah. So I don't, but I do think there's a big leap from like weed oh, to like. Oh, no, no, for sure. You know, obviously to meth me it's or, not, yeah. For me, know, it's not even the same. Like I don't really consider weed of like a drug, drug, drug. Mm. It's yeah. like, it's a plant and stuff. But it's so funny because a lot of people are like, oh, I don't smoke because I get lazy and stuff. It's so funny when I smoke, I'm the most talkative. I work out high. That's what I do. Like my mm -hmm. favorite thing to do is work out and smoke. I have the most energy. Anytime I smoke, I want to clean the house. If you do anything yeah. to an extreme, yeah. you're yeah, going to yeah. lose. Like yeah. if you smoke weed once in a while, your life's probably okay. Yeah. If you smoke weed constantly all day long, yeah. you're going to lose in life. Like I don't have any, this is the flip side of it. I don't have any mega financial successful friends, none, not a single one who smokes weed all day, every day. No, yeah. They don't. Now, do I have friends who like smoke a little weed? Yes. I don't do it I all guess day. The yeah. I do it when would I be work. Snoop Dogg. Snoop. <laughs> Snoop. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and by the way, that's it's, a different... and it's different, but like yeah. even like Snoop was my neighbor for a long time. Yeah. And um, he's a, uh, I don't know him that well, but like you could argue that like he made a career out of weed almost you know what i mean like yeah. he's an exception that's because brand. that's when his you brand think of him, you think yeah. of right weed. yeah that's his oh, brand for sure. but that's the first thing i thought of <laughs> yeah right <laughs> was yeah. when you think weed you think snoop right yeah. but like by and large like unless it's your brand which is like five people on earth mm -hmm. you know that's not a way to become financially successful yeah. that's what? like i drink like if you come to my house i got bottles of tequila and vodka everywhere yeah. and tons i've got wine cellars in every house i have i drink but I don't drink like five days a week. No. You know what I mean? Some weeks I don't drink at all. So it's mm -hmm. like I drink, but it's not my habit. Yeah. Right. So that's it's same with weed, I think. Almost. Yeah, like yeah. smoking weed, if you smoke weed, as long as it's not your daily, hourly habit, you can right. probably function. With him, yeah. he's very educated about weed. He knows everything. You mm -hmm. ask him what, anything about weed, he'll know every little thing. Like there's a lot into it. Like there's mm -hmm. a whole like, like business around it. So what I want to do is like, I just want to, um, invest in like a weed company for him, let yeah. him run it, and oh. that's there you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe, maybe hire a manager. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. I'm going to be in charge of it, but yeah. you, maybe yeah. hire someone to like help with it. Yeah, yeah. No, probably you, the don't, number one. Don't ever but get high the weird thing on about, your own supply. The thing there is, you go. The thing about him is that he's also very, very smart. He's like, he's very smart. He just, he doesn't, he's just lost. He's he just one of those, you know some kids that are just very lost. They yeah. don't know what they want. They're just unmotivated. And it's not because they are unmotivated as a person. It's just like, they don't know what to do. They just, he just has like, he's just lost. So yeah. he, Things he'll change be found. I used to like be really judgmental of that with young people. When mm -hmm. I was even young, like what the hell's wrong with you, dude? Get your, and then even people who smoked. And again, I, I'm getting, I'm old school. Like. I've become way more liberal on weed than I used to be. Like, yeah. I used to be like, don't do it. And now I'm like, you know what? I do know a bunch of people smoke a little weed and they're fine. And like, the more I've learned about it, I get, number one business Helps I probably get people. pitched with is CBD. Like, I'm pitched on these CBD yeah. businesses all the time. So I know about some of the medicinal benefits and all that. So I don't judge that stuff so much anymore. It's just anything in your life to excess, you're probably going to lose. Yeah. If it's not a healthy obsession because... Perfectly you, said. Like, yeah. Everything in moderation. Yeah, yeah so. your obsessions become your possessions. Mm -hmm. So if your obsessions are like your goals and your dreams and the good things in your life, you'll possess them. If your obsession is like, I got to smoke. If your obsession is I got to go out. If your obsession is I got to have another drink. You're going to possess that right. over and over again. So your brother's deal is what he has to find over the next few years of his life is a healthy obsession. Right. He can still smoke weed, but he's got to find that thing that he's obsessed with that he's chasing beyond that. Right. That's the deal. So. Yeah. That's exactly. See, I found a way to like flip it where it's like I eat more when I do it. Mm -hmm. So then I get the gains and then I work hard. Like I work out super hard mm -hmm. because it's like. You know when you um, are drunk, you know when you drink, it mm -hmm. kind of like numbs your body a little bit. Mm -hmm. Weed kind of does the same thing. So you can like work, like why people stop pushing themselves in the gym is because it hurts. You know, you're going to yeah. stop doing sets because it hurts. I would say don't drink and go to the no, gym. No, 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 you should not. I'm not saying, yeah. I'm not saying <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. I'm saying, you know, when you're drunk, it like numbs yourself sure. a little bit. Weed does a similar effect. So when mm -hmm. you're working out, um, it, you're pushing yourself harder because mm -hmm. it's not hurting as much. Mm -hmm. You can't even tell. It relaxes you, I guess. Mm -hmm. right? But um, yeah, you should never Relaxes like work out like if you know. drink in alcohol within like five, five hours or like something like 10 hours or five hours or something because it's so bad for you. You can like die from like drinking alcohol and working out. Mm. It does something to you like your blood or it does something like really bad to you. So I've never yeah. done either. So. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Never, but weed doesn't do anything. But I, I, I do like CBD though. CBD I'm a is huge amazing. fan of CBD. Oh, CBD is the best. You know you can get weed that only has CBD, no THC, and you oh, can like smoke it. That's what CBD is. 
So CBD is derived from the plant. Yeah, so I'm saying you can smoke it and act like you feel like you're smoking weed, but no THC, it's only CBD. No, I didn't yeah. know that you could smoke it. I take drops. Yeah, yeah. I love the tinctures. Yeah. I, I yeah. have it in every single form. I have gummies, I have tincture, I have all the things. The I really? literally have, I have it in every single thing you can, <laughs> I like live off of it, literally. And face lotion, <laughs> I work makeup. out so much that it's like, I yeah. need to like soothe my body. Yeah, yeah. It is. it's great. All right, let's go into question number two. Summer, this is you. Okay. Hi guys, so I have a problem. I really want a boyfriend and I've tried dating multiple guys, but every time I start to date someone new, I find something wrong with them. It's not even that I'm looking for someone who is like 10 out of 10, it will be the most random quirks that drive me insane. For example, I started dating a super hot guy and after a few dates I noticed that he has a really annoying country song as his playback ringtone. And that just killed it for me right then and there. I couldn't get past that. And that's just one example of many. Sometimes the way someone's mouth hangs open constantly or clears their throat too much, etc. Is that normal or will I find someone whose quirks I can look past or I'm destined to be alone? Mm. Cool. You always look at me first. Yeah. <laughs> so I hear like, that, <laughs> No, no, no. I hear that like, um, um, like my daughter's asking it. That's how I would process it. So those aren't big things. But yeah. especially for girls, I think you should hold the highest freaking standards in the world. And I would tell my daughter, don't settle for anything you don't want in a guy. Mm. And that's really important for girls especially. It's like, Maybe it's because I have a daughter, but like, if there's something you don't like about a guy, that's what you don't like, that's okay. Now, is it sort of trivial what country song they have or how their mouth hangs open? But let me tell you something. You're, if you're a girl, you're beautiful, you're special, you're incredible, and you should have your dream man, and you should not settle for a dude who that. lacks less than that. Yeah. And, and I see so many girls do this because they don't feel good about themselves. Mm -hmm. They'll settle for things in these men or these boys that is not worthy of them whether it's how they're treated or, you know, do they not hold the door open? You think I'm old school, do they hold the door? Do they tell you they love you? Do they care about you? How do they talk about you when you're not around? Do they hold your hand? Are they kind? Do they love you? Do they, is everything about them what you want? Because you're gonna spend the next 60 to 80 years of your life with some dude eventually. You get exactly what you want. Don't ever settle for anything in a man that's less than you're worthy of. And that's like a massive message these dudes will take advantage of you mm -hmm. if you let them. I know I'm a dude, right? <laughs> so, um, and I don't care if it's the way his mouth hangs open, check his ass off and find the next one. I know that sounds cold, but I would say the same thing to a man. A savage. If yeah. that woman is not savage what you want, like, you guys, you have one life. You have one life, one time here. Trust me, I'm in the middle of mine now. Like, yesterday I was your age. Mm -hmm. I mean, yesterday, right? So if you're gonna spend that life, you should spend it with people that make you happy mm. and that fulfill you. And especially if you're a, a young girl listening to this, do not take anything from a man that's less than your worth. Don't do it. And every time you do that, it becomes more and more acceptable to you and them. Every time you let them treat you in a way that they shouldn't, once they get away with it, they're gonna do it again and again and again. And you start to let the next guy do it and the next guy do it and the next guy do it. So don't tolerate anything less than you're worth, even if it's the way his damn ringtone works. That's my opinion. <laughs> that's Mic me. drop. I think that's Mic yeah. drop. I think that sums it up. <laughs> that that was amazing. Thank you. So awesome. thank you so much, Ed, for being on our podcast. Thank oh honey, you. baby. Oh honey, I and loved having you on. Ed, thank you have you. your new show on it's Netflix. It's coming out. Which, yeah. Yep. Yep. Incredible. Yeah. So you. stay tuned for that, you guys. We'll have all the links in the description below. All Ed's info where you can check him out. He gives amazing advice, as you can tell. Yeah. And make sure to, to subscribe to our podcast on YouTube. Um, Spotify, iTunes. And if you're Watch listening. us anywhere, guys. Yeah, or listen to us anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Watch, listen. Yeah, Just anywhere where you listen to your podcast, you can find Oh Honey. So Woo! check us out. We love you so much. Give us a thumbs up, comment below, and send in your stories to diary at ohoneydiary.com. Bye, Bye, guys. <laughs> oh honey. honey diary llc makes no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy or sufficiency of the information featured in this podcast
The information and recommendations presented in this podcast are general opinions only. This podcast should not be considered professional or expert advice. Reliance on the information provided in this podcast is done at your own discretion. Oh, honey. Oh, honey.